Hey guys, HTV here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be reacting to Can You Beat Pokemon Emerald with only a Mudkip by Alpha Ram. Now I'm actually going to be attempting some of these challenges on my second channel which is linked in the description down below and will be on the top comment. So I kind of wanted to see what I was going to be getting myself into. Of course this video will be linked in the description down below. Go show Alpha Ram some love. But if you are excited for today's video, drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with anything else you'd like me to react to and subscribe as well if you're brand new with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy right so here we are with the video uh it looks really cool at the start because i think it's animated as well as actually seeing the game so definitely getting some Jaden animation vibes from this but uh we're just going to jump into it and see what happens pokemon is all about catching them all well mm -hmm. i mean it was until recently Anyways, I was just curious of how little you could explore in a game like Pokemon. Mm. I looked at Pokemon Emerald and wondered if it would be possible to go from receiving your starter to becoming the champion without a single already. Pokemon. <laughs> the first obstacle that comes I think this is kind of one of the videos that started that whole trend, the whole can you beat this game with this Pokemon. I think this is one of the original videos because this came out last July. So uh yeah, I think this is one of the videos that definitely started that trend. What to do about the eight gems that are required to traverse through the Hoenn region? A fun fact about the eight eight gems in this region is that only five of them are required, with Ooh. three of them being water-based moves. It made sense to pick Mudkip since he can also learn the other two required. Yes, sir. Strength and rocks. <laughs> I'm not really allowing much leeway on the catching Pokemon thing. If it's a legendary, that's free XP, and if it's shiny, you got to kill it, and that's just heartbreaking. No. This little Mudkip may leave a lot to be desired when it comes to his stats. The reason for this is oh, got a decent physical attack stat. Why is it called Pikachu? Over these, but that's where I come in and say, oh boy, I love an arbitrary challenge with an odd set of win conditions. The heart of this challenge really stems from asking, could I instead of should I? And that's how we ended up here. <laughs> Why is it just floating through space? Pikachu by Professor Birch, I immediately went into the grass and started grinding. I oh, he's got the moves there as well. My dad who focuses <laughs> on work instead of me, watched Wally learn what a Pokemon was, and then I made it to Petalburg Woods. <laughs> Really happens. I love how it flicks through animation and gaming. And I love it. It's great. A reminder that I picked the water type. Why is it called Pikachu? Gym, it just doesn't even explain it. First attempt at evolution, only to be denied by a single press of the B button. It really makes you wonder if being blue balls <laughs> in the middle of your metamorphosis hurts, but I mean, it'll get used to it since there's a whole lot of this down the road. The easiest solution to this is to get Neverstone, but that's boring. I'm just cheating. It's just this arbitrary rule I just made up. Anyway, well, why would you not put the Everstone on? That's just gonna make life easier. It doesn't make the challenge any easier. And then set sail on the ha -ha boat. We then the arrived ha -ha boat. this granite cave and a mysterious hiker offers us Flash. We then walked off, looked at him over our shoulder and said, wow, thanks for nothing. The hard <laughs> part about caves in this run is that you don't granite have caves Flash, so which means if you, you don't can't know the see way. and you have to walk through the caves by memory alone. Lucky for me, I played this game hundreds of times as a dumb stupid kid at the dumb stupid after school program in third grade because my real life dad didn't have time for me. We oh, then find Steven who gives us the first useless piece of information for a Mudkip only user, Cheers for that which means it's now time to find the second gym leader i tried to fight every trainer i could in the building but just free xp wasn't enough for this underdeveloped mud so naturally i resorted to bullying kids on the beach until that magically became enough to earn another gym badge it's gonna After struggle that, on the next gym Magua, leader beat our rival again on um what's he called like, uh, i really don't know how i did this uh, one and then approached mauville city which held what's his name the hardest part of this entire run what? the electric gym leader I can't the balance cold. of this in the hoenn region is that if you're going the water type your marsh noms should already be half ground type by now thus being immune to electric moves. <laughs> Sadly, that is not how this story goes. You really just have to allow your Pokemon to pop as many pills as you I don't know how he's going to win this, you know? Run out of money, don't do drugs, kids. Your best bet is using Mud Slap, a move with low power that lowers your opponent's accuracy, but they only use Shockwave, which has a 101% accuracy, so it's just like... Shit! I'd like to say that I eventually won this battle through sheer willpower alone, but I'll be honest and say that the AI just messed up and hit me with the house. To be fair, much like doing half the health is mad. One of the most we take those Watson, I knew it began with a W. I knew it began with a W. I was going to say Wallace, though, but it just isn't. Rock Smash, which is an actual move we will actually use. You can then use Rock Smash to get strength. Surely his moves are just all going to be HMs by the end of this. Like, he's going to have Surf, he's going to have Waterfall, he's going to have Rock Smash. Um, and he's probably going to have strength, I guess. 
Is, is Mudkip just gonna have HM, this surely? This is an actual move that we will even actually use. At this point, you're starting to figure out that the Mudkip we carry is going to be void of an actual move set since yeah. we have to use all these HMs to navigate through <laughs> You can go to the move deleter, sure, but to get through Victory Road, you need strength, strength. waterfall, surf, and rock smash. Exactly, yeah. For a lucky dive isn't required, otherwise it wouldn't be possible. <laughs> On our way to some story-related missions, we walk through the fiery cave. Next gym's gonna really be easy. Isn't anything of interest over here except TMO6 Toxic hiding behind a boulder, but we'll get to that later. After that, we you don't need toxic magma, to win. Go through a forest and then fight the fourth gym leader who specializes in fire. Which Easy. again, let me remind you. Forty-four that already. That mudkip is Upon powerful. The fourth gym badge. Our journey puts us in a beeline towards the fifth one. I definitely thought that this was going to be the gatekeeper for me. Norman's Pokemon had all the. This tools is such an annoying gym battle. Though. It really at is. At this point, I guess I just severely underestimated the growth of my mudkip. And then Norman sent so out slacking. I was Can literally one shot sat on in a hilarious <laughs> fashion by this humongous beast, but. Then I remembered Slacking's ability. He can't attack every other turn. And nope. my Mudkip was faster. Oh, he has Dig, of dig. course. Easy. After denying Schrodinger's Pro plays. another chance to breathe, we took the HM Surf, got a Thunderstone for our dearest Pikachu, and then progressed towards the Weather Tower. Just Inside, he Thunderstone. bombards you with the exact 48 same Pikachu already, you know, that's and madness. ultimately fails to overpower the strongest Mudkip in existence. You would think that the Weather employees would be grateful for you saving their lives, and that's the problem. They are too grateful if you ask they me give you they form. offered to give you a reward for your troubles while stripping you of an option to decline with that being said we retrieve our second pokemon of the playthrough and just like that you just release it is dead i mean it... we never caught a pokemon i suppose it's no like obviously you can't you can't decline it for it I suppose that I could just hide him in the box like a red. You even get a mystic water off it. <laughs> he never sees the light of day. Oh, so with an additional skeleton in our closet, Stephen Stone shows us another fun piece of useless information. Get Cleon time. Six gym. Altaria is going to be that difficult. These puzzles for toddlers took me a bit longer than I'd like to admit, <laughs> but I eventually. That was a difficult puzzle through. when you were a kid, I to be fair. I debated on teaching my Mudkip Rock Tomb for this gym alone, but I trusted my precious child to eliminate. Oh my God, they're all dead. Remember when I talked <laughs> about Team Aqua earlier? Yeah, just imagine that. That again, mm, but this mm, time mm. with ghosts. Then imagine that again, but with Team Magma and now rocks are. I keep getting emerald. You have to do Magma and Aqua, don't you? Magma's a walk in the park. But... And during this fight, I kind of ran out of PP, so I thought using Dig against his camera would be a fine answer. But I was. Oh, the quake does double the damage, doesn't it? If you're in the ground. So let's just focus on the positive, okay? Our next objective was to return to Slateport, and since my Mudkip could not learn fly, fly, no matter how many times I asked or how hard he tried, <laughs> so we had to walk across <laughs> the country. Why does the blood again. just come out of his face? This is just a pointless objective that activates the next event in Lily Cove, which is a painful <laughs> process if you don't have the, the ability to this fast is. travel. And since we were in Slateport, I thought we would surf over to the abandoned ship and get some extra goodies. Ice beam, and we're just gonna put that in the bag until later. While returning to Slateport, I ran into a random encounter. Upon slaying another Tentacool, somebody asked me to fix a stream layout. As I was attempting to please a loyal no! leader, I realized that I made a grave error. It's just a, it's just a lighting error. It's a white balance. No. Thing. It's like I can just slide the chat's gonna go mad on here and make it work. The chat, the chat. <laughs> Look at the chat. Look at the chat. It's not much of anymore. Uh, no. <laughs> wait, that's saturation. That's wrong. I can't wait for this reaction. Uh, wait, wait. The chat is going mad. Yeah, so I turned the game off <laughs> and left save, loudly, and did it all over Oh, again. man, that's so... Backtracking through time was as painful as it sounds, and then I picked up Toxic along the way, defeated Team Aqua again while picking up a Master Ball that is essentially need worthless, it. and then we found our way back to Oh, this to is going to be tif difficult. This gym served as a huge... You have to have a double battle, right? This gym clearly incentivizes double battles with its design and theme and gym leaders being Tate and Liza. Or Lisa, or Lisa... Uh, who cares? Yeah, I don't as know As soon as you make it to the gym leader room, they turn you away if you yeah, you have Pokemon. to have another. To battle them, I'd have to catch another Pokemon, which would absolutely disqualify me from this challenge. Just use the cat's form. What if we had a certain yeah. albino metamorphosis <laughs> like child to bring back out of hiding? Surely this doesn't count as catching a Pokemon, and it's not like its inclusion really matters, since he's just going to die to Zatu Psychic. From this <laughs> point on, Mudkip easily won the 2v1 by spamming Surf the entire battle. And upon leaving the gym, I went out to go do what I felt was right and release Cat's no. into the <laughs> no. wild. You didn't have to do it. But they refused. Back Wait. in the box, he went and we Can't went we to release? assist Mr. Stone in a double battle. He was kind enough to allow me to choose any Pokemon I wanted, so I chose my Mudkip and we <laughs> washed the floor with these lackeys. I get With it. Wash the floor because he used Surf. 
brilliant wordplay. Soon coming to a close, Stephen finally does something of value and allowed me to teach my Mudkip a brand new HM. Boom, what are we getting? This being our fourth one, Mudkip Dive. looks no different than an HM Zigzagoon slave at this point. And <laughs> nevertheless, we continued our journey to the eighth gym. But before I did that, <gasps> I was surfing. And There's no way. Cool. Bro, why is every one of these videos I, I react to, they find a shiny? What was the other video they found a shiny in? Oh my god, what did I react to? They found a shiny and killed it. Or they, they, what was it? It was, it was, um, oh my god, that's really gonna annoy me. There was a video that I watched and they killed a shiny. I can't remember. That's gonna really bug me. What was it? And it was the platinum room, wasn't it? He found like a shiny uh, weasel or something. Um, yeah, where he had to beat platinum without taking any damage and he found a shiny weasel and killed it. Why do these people find full on shinies like this? It's so, it's like one in 8,000 and they find, he find one laughed hysterically and killed it in front of everybody <laughs> i still forgot we had to go to the aqua hideout so yeah we did that too then returning to Sudopolis, just don't know how you found a one eight thousand nice shiny so easy wallace plays 20 questions about Rayquaza and i love how it was a 10 school as well because my first ever shiny was a 10 school in fire as if a 10 year old with a mudkip had even heard of whatever that thing is for whatever plot can be on take out Rayquaza with a little bit of the sky dragon and he instant transmission to somewhere random i think since i didn't want to attempt to imitate it by walking painfully slow i just battled in the sky tower until my little mudkip couldn't handle it anymore <laughs> since whiting out just sent you to the last pokemon center you went to it activated hey, the next Smart play, that is, to be Rayquaza fair. interrupts this fight that looks like a stare down. To this is a great cutscene. I love this cutscene as a kid. Counterpicked. I mean, he has this tiny piece of land and Kyogre has this ocean on their <laughs> side. That's actually so he stupid when you think the about white it. Flag, which caused Kyogre to dive back into the ocean. Where does he even go? Really know where Groudon went, honestly. Exactly. Anyways, after seeing all three of those monsters, where does Groudon go? He's literally on the littlest bit of land. It's such an unfair gym. fight. Seed in these puzzles that I definitely remember being much harder as a kid. This one doesn't really serve as too much of a challenge for the beast that was created before your very eyes, but I thought it would be a very funny flex to throw a master ball at his truly beloved he didn't appreciate the <laughs> Look how very fast much, it goes to out. be fair i get it it's not really that funny Don't so be with a all eight gym badges in hand our journey now directs us at ever grand city which is honestly just one building and nice but first we <laughs> have to go to the move deleter and ditch dive and learn waterfall yes sir but only four of the five required hms are necessary to get through victory road and if Bang, that wasn't huh? true the run would have just ended right here upon entering victory road we are greeted with wally trying to strike a pose saying we can just fast forward through all this he never really served as much of a challenge for <laughs> the superior species of pokemon victory road is just a served everything apart from Roselia. I really about to rely on muscle memory nor flash so i just looked up a guide and counted step by step God, i hate really i hate this is my least favorite here, victory so road it's so annoying. To the elite four. I stocked up on last minute supplies and sold my revives since we can't possibly use those. I called this a practice run since the moveset I was going on was full of low PP HMs, with one of them being Rock Smash, which is a hilariously awful move. This definitely sounded much better on drop, paper, huh? but Mudkip kind of tore through everywhere. all of the first few oh trainers. God. <laughs> we got to Drake with only water moves. Drake is difficult to be fair. Rock with Smash just a is just not, and we didn't have any ice moves. Things seemed kind of hopeless. I decided to use an ether on strength and that's going to do it on his first run here somehow. Pop off thing, would kid. The elite four, we had one remaining challenge in our way. This mudkip has been through so much. We all have in this adventure and with our journey Go on, get to level 8 mudkip, okay, do it. Got toxic stalled by Wallace's Molotic and lost. No. Okay, at this point I just decided that our move set was not going to cut it. One of our moves did not even get used in the elite four and the rest didn't cover what we needed it to. With toxic and ice beam still in my bag, I wanted to equip them to mudkip but how yeah. we made our way back through victory road picking up a much needed pp up on the how way can you and how arrived can... at the move to leader's house after removing half of their hms and giving much but how can you get back through it? move set as i possibly could we set out to see and dive you know since this would warp our trainer <gasps> back to the elite four oh. and the hms required to get through victory road were no longer applicable My this God. time was going to be different. smashed it each move was strategically picked for each trainer a lot of pokemon smashed were right now to nice being easy. stat bonus but we also had strength to cover the matchups with weak defense or who were strong to water with everything in place mudkip was unchained storming through trainer after tra okay and then glalie just used <laughs> oh, no. this time for sure after a third time look come on. battle i realized the last battle her desklop exerts pressure which is bad for my limited move pool i also noticed that he opens with protect and would keep spamming it until one connected being that he could use this move 10 times i decided that i would just buff mudkip up as much as possible and then just on the one term yeah. the beefiest mudkip you've ever seen <laughs> slaughtered all of the ghosts i used a similar strategy for the next trainer since mudkip lived in constant fear of being exploded on by a living mm. snowball when it came to drake the difficulty of the last run went away since ice beam was the perfect tool to destroy one shot everything, everything surely which finally brought us back to 
on now. Third time lucky, go. I took my time and beefed up against his Waylord, which I feel like if that Pokemon ever gets Dynamax, stadiums are going to collapse. With Ludicolo <laughs> knowing Giga Drain, this could serve as a huge problem. Being that I had to heal each time he used it, I just waited until he used the move five times and then Ice Beamed him down. Wallace's Tentacruel is by far the least threatening Pokemon he has, so this was just time to heal, buff up, file my checkbook, and mentally prepare myself for what was coming next. <laughs> Milotic came out using Toxic, educating me that I've never said most of these Pokemon names out loud, and little did they know, I could be Toxic too. This fight went on for multiple it's minutes, just gonna be a but stall Mike session. eventually found himself a victory somehow. Surprisingly, he uses all his potions on end, my after though. using Ice Beam, Wishcatch was frozen, and at this point it was just hard of the cards from there. With oh, Wallace big Ice the Beam, throne, not lose to a 10 year old. Pop off, my kid. But you already know how that went. So just like that, Mudkip single-handedly became the champion of Poen's Elite Four. Smashed it was it. a long journey, but his very fitting lonely nature led him to victory. <laughs> a lot of people said that a Mudkip hey, could all of fame would get. <laughs> task, but let this be a lesson to you. No matter how large the obstacle may be, if you believe in yourself, you can accomplish anything if you have a drugged up fist with legs by your side. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that I thought was funny during the credits is that they really want to walk you down memory lane by showing you all the Pokemon you caught. And, and uh... <laughs> just... <laughs> so thanks for watching. This That's was great. One of the more fun. Videos. Yeah, that was a sick video. Credit to uh, Alfred. Smashed it. Obviously, this will be linked in the description down below. Go show him some love. It's a great, great video. Uh, I remember beating Pokemon Blue with just a Squirtle. Um, so I have done this before, but uh, that was uh, obviously in one of the old games where you could literally just outspeed everything and crit everything because it was kind of a broken game in the newer ones it's a little bit more difficult to do it but uh, obviously i'm going to do some more um some more can you beat pokemon games with certain pokemon on the second channel it will be linked in the description down below go show it some love if you haven't already subscribed if you guys enjoyed this video though drop a like down below let's try and hit 500 make sure to leave a comment with anything else you'd like me to react to and subscribe if you are brand new that's everything from me though have a fantastic rest of your day take care and peace